Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my three month review in my Viviscal journey. Okay, so three months. I can't quite believe it has actually been three months. But you know what? I have really noticed a lot of change in my hair since taking Viviscal for men for three months. Now, in terms of using Viviscal, of course, we know that in the first stage and the second stage is all about the hair follicles really being nurtured and really pumping all the good ingredients in the Viviscal uh, supplements into the hair follicle root. And then, of course, in around about the three month mark, what we should be noticing is a reduction in hair fall. We should be noticing a bit of a change in the actual hair and we should certainly be noticing some positive difference. So let's talk about what I've noticed. So Viviscal, for a start, what's absolutely fantastic for me is if you remember rightly, when I first started taking Viviscal, if you've been following this on my channel, when you can find my clips from when I started and at a one month uh, mark in my Viviscal journey, I noted that I was having uh, what I found what Viviscal was doing is it was giving me kind of like a bit of a and I hate this um, I want to say not really like a breakout but it was making I was all, sort of having these very sort of quite painful, quite small, anguishy, sort of like a breakout, but nothing coming to the surface, like under the skin. And this was about by the sides of my hair here and just across sort of on, not on my forehead, but towards the sides of my hairline here. Um, and I had like one or two throughout my, my scalp as well. Quite painful, quite sore. Um, never really thought no more about it. And as I've just progressed with the tablets I, I've got through that and actually that has gone away so whether or not that has been where well, I've been taking the supplements and it's something which my body has worked out something in my skin or my scalp and now it's disappeared but at the first I would say about the first two months that was happening and it was that was probably the only sort of um, negative for me in fact um, of taking Viviscal supplements so it was just you had to sort of Grim and bear it, I suppose. And but now I can absolutely happy to report that does not happen anymore. Of course, in terms of hair loss. Hmm. So as you'll see, I don't have any problems as such with hair loss, you would think. But right at the start of my journey, when I was washing my hair, um, and what was making me really, really concerned is that 2020 has been a really, really stressful year. Um, it's been, to be quite honest with you, it's been a real, real corker of a year already. And we're only at the six month, we're only in June, um, but it's been really difficult. And I've been incredibly stressed and through taking medications for the health problems I have at the moment. Um, and of course, with the coronavirus pandemic, lots of stress going on with exams and my studying being canceled, starting a new job. I was noticing a lot of hair fall, and I mean a lot of hair fall. Whether I was in the shower or in the bath, literally, it was like I'd had a haircut. And I remember actually calling my mum up to see in the bathroom when all the water was drawn out, and actually you could see that something was changing. There was a lot more hair. When I was styling my hair, it was all in my hands. Um, but it was strange because you wouldn't notice it to be able to look at my hair. But if you think about that, after time, I'm sure that something you would have started to have noticed, and I'm sure that's happened with a lot of people, men and women. So that's what really prompted me to use with Viviscal. Now, when I noted that at one month, on my one month uh, mark in this journey, I had noticed a huge reduction, a huge reduction. I was still seeing hair fall, but it wasn't still natural. So it was still there as a bit of a concern for me. I'm happy to report now that I literally have to go looking for the hair in the bottom of the bathroom, in the sink or in the brush or the comb, what have you, or on my hands. It's not noticeable. So it's much, much more now of a natural fall, which is fantastic. And of course, in turn, that makes you feel a lot more better about yourself. And when you after you come out the bath or the shower and you look down, you see all this hair. It can be quite daunting, to be honest, about what's going on. I actually put it down to stress, um, but it's really, really great to see that that has has actually subsided now but it's of course I don't want to categorically say that I can absolutely guarantee this to be Viviscal of course I can't it could just be my body working its way through this pattern but I want to say that actually I do think that the Viviscal supplements have had a huge impact of positivity to my hair and I'm going to personally put that I can't 100% put it down to the reduction of hair fall but I'm certainly going to be putting the reduction of my hair fall down to me taking the Viviscal supplements. And this is at the three month mark, don't forget. So now I really have to go looking for the hairs actually when I see them coming out. And of course, it's nothing like what I was losing at all, which is fantastic. Now, another thing which I just want to, which brings me on quite smoothly, actually, is what I have noticed with my hair 
is, and this is whether or not my hair was growing slower or whether or not it wasn't growing to its full potential, my hair in the last month has grown, I'm not going to say absolutely metres and metres, of course it hasn't, but it seems to be growing so much more quickly. And it's actually quite surprising. And whether or not that's my scalp being in a much more healthy place or the hair follicles are being nurtured with all the all the right ingredients. And of course, Viviscal's, um, I can't quite remember it now, the scientifically formulated Amino Mar C marine protein complex, whether it's down to that product in the Viviscal, um, I can't say 100%, but I've certainly noticed the growth has just been really surprising and positive. So that's fantastic. So let's just recap. So we've covered the hair fall reduction. Fantastic. We have covered, I feeling that my hair is growing much, much more quicker, or in terms of what it's supposed to probably be growing at, the rate it's supposed to be growing at, which is amazing. The next thing which brings me on to is, of course, when I noted at the start, um, of course, we've also mentioned about the, my skin, which feels on a, a whole lot better. I'm not getting none of those sort of breakouts across on the sides of my head or in the sort of my hairline or amongst my scalp at all. So that's stopped, which is amazing. Um, now, which brings me on amazingly to now. I, I actually I was very open, very honest, and I said that I was concerned with the temple regions of my hair and the sort of the region just back here, not my crown, but the area sort of in about an inch, this bit here. And I noticed that it was kind of if I could if I could pinpoint an area of where the hair was falling out from, it would be here, not my temples here. Um, if I was using a brush. You've seen on my channel before when I style my hair, my favourite sort of Damon brush. If I'd be lifting up the hair and drying the hair off, it would be from that area where I would see the most fall. Or when I was styling or if I was rubbing wax or product, that type of thing, um, it would be from this sort of region here, the middle of my head. Not my crown, the middle. Um, and that's the difference I would really, really, uh, I was noticing from there. Um, and you know what? I am not gonna say that my hair is absolutely back to the full thickness of what it was um, but it's certainly changing for for the positive and for the better so I can feel along in my hairline and throughout my scalp like short prickly hairs um, now of course it's really really difficult to say whether or not that's just natural regrowth but I never felt this before so for me it's Viviscal. Viviscal was doing this for me. Viviscal Man is doing this for me. Um, because before, of course, when you, you, you sort of, if you're using a product or if you're uh, massaging a product in your hair, like shampoo or conditioner, or what have you, um, and you can feel regrowth, sometimes small hairs. But this feels like actual proper hairs. So it's not like real soft downy hair, which new hair growth starts off. It's like almost like real prickly. Um, and it's quite difficult to explain and I can feel that sort of around the middle part of my head, the sides of my head sort of in here, so not this side, here, and in my hairline. And I've got an area in here which is slightly thinner um, and I had a cowlick as a child and it would always sort of be a little bit thinner anyway and separate into this sort of almost like that you'd rolled it out. Um, and in here so it, was, it was a little bit finer, a little bit thinner. Now I've got short sort of uh, prickly hairs in here. So hopefully as I still continue to capture this at the six month mark, hopefully I'll be able to report that that's all getting thicker and those hairs are growing through. Now you'll note that at the one month mark, well, if you've watched this and I urge you to have, have a watch of it, you may well be able to relate to it. And what I'm experiencing now, um, so I noted that in my hairline here, I was seeing small downy hairs. And like I say, when I wash my hair or if I put a product through my hair and I'm rubbing the scalp, I can feel something's happening, something's happening, and I can feel short sort of spiky hairs. But what I can also see is those hairs I noted at the one month mark, when I style my hair back, I can see I've got like, and unfortunately it doesn't show up, I've already tried taking pictures um, to capture it, but it doesn't actually show up yet because they are quite fine. But instead of these sort of hairs, which are a month, were about, I'd say about, about half a centimetre, probably a little bit less than that in my hairline, they're now about 
two centimeters and when i style my hair i've got lots of these short hairs which of course if you imagine i've got my hair styled and then because it's too short to follow the style the hairs which i'm talking about it sort of just sticks up so what i have to do is when i style my hair, I have to use a little bit of product on my hand and just smooth them into the style so if things are certainly getting thicker and there's certainly hairs which are growing through now i don't want to sit here and say that it's absolutely growing through crazy and it's categorically down to viviscale it's not but what i would just say to support this is that i never noticed this before i'm 26 and i never noticed short sort of new hairs growing through like this ever before only when i started viviscale before and i used viviscale for a seven month seven month period a couple of years back and i got the same effects and i followed it on and those hairs I kind of lost track of them because they incorporated into my hair, which was amazing. And the reason why I just stopped that is because my hair got to a point where I was really happy with it. It was much more healthier um, and it felt like really great, strong, healthy hair. And of course, with this year being so sort of, to be honest with you, quite rubbish with the things what's happened, losing my best friend, my Alaska Malima back in January, the health problems I'm having, which is getting worse, um, whole bunches of stress just thrown at me and my family to be quite honest with you so i've been really really stressed out about it so that has had a real negative effect and i think it affects your skin it affects your hair so that's why i started viviscal three months in there is so much positive change to report and another thing which i just really want to get out there as well is if you have fine hair and you might think like me i have a lot of hair that looks really, really thick it's really not um and I'm really happy with the change in my temples because actually if you hold it up to the light, if you've got a thinner area of your hair and you hold it to the light or if you stand under a light and you look in the mirror, you can see just how thin and sparse it is. But for me, I can already see that there are thinner hairs growing through. There are prickly short hairs growing through, which is amazing. And that's at the three month mark. So it really makes me feel quite positive about what's going to be happening in the next couple of months as well. But something which is huge as well is when I'm styling my hair, and of course now I haven't had a haircut since the, uh, before all the coronavirus pandemic uh, happened. So it's been quite a few months now since I've had my hair cut on top. And what I would say is from when I've got my hair length, and it's about just touching my bottom lip now, and it's really getting quite stronger i can actually be quite and why would you want to be rough with your hair but to be honest with you when i'm shampooing and conditioning my hair i can be quite a lot more firmer a bit more rough with my hair because my hair feels stronger now i don't i don't i'm not trying to say to you after you take this you can be a lot more rough with your hair because of course don't look after your hair particularly if it's more finer but if i haven't really got the time or if i'm a little bit rushed i can be a lot more firmer with my hair because it feels a lot more stronger um which is great it really does feel like my hair is getting stronger and of course in turn feeling thicker and the thing which i can also report as well is that my hair feels and please don't take this as being really really cheesy it feels like that it's just gone hello i'm hair and it's just seemed to have really really woken up and it just seems to be like that it's got life it's got sort of a bit more pizzazz about it it's not just fine hair which if i don't do anything with it just sits like flat on my head it really does feel like there's life and there's boost in my hair through taking this so it's really really great and i would really really recommend taking the viviscal uh, hair program for men and women of course if you are a woman and you're watching this give the viviscal for women a try do you know there are so many positive reviews out there it's incredible to read and i've had some really amazing amazing uh comments for just my two uh my two viviscal journey clips which i have on my channel now on youtube and i've had some amazing comments on there and some really really heartfelt pro um uh, comments which have really made me feel um, really quite humbled that somebody would actually go out their way to even leave those type of comments on my channel and thank you very very much for that if you're watching this and what I can just say to you is what I am saying is true so if you're thinking it is an investment and it is expensive it is it absolutely is and I completely appreciate that when times at the moment you may not have the money through what you would have had because of course with the jobs and things um, of course reduced income through the coronavirus pandemic but do you know what what I would even suggest is if you can buy this and yes it's one in the morning one in the evening buy one okay take one a day and then when you're more comfortable of course financially you can then stretch out your course and then you can do the two a day but at least you're getting that benefit from the viviscal in and of course it may take you longer to see results but you're still getting the result of 
the effects from Viviscale. So do you see what I mean? So for example, I would always recommend, and I'm not, I'm not in any partnership with Viviscale at all. This is just personal, personal. And if I find a product which I really, really like and I really want to shout about it, I will do. And I do that on my YouTube channel. But I found the cheapest place to find Viviscale is on the actual Viviscale website. Now, this is usually about 120, 115 pounds. And you can get this for 89.99. The cheapest place, if I don't get it from Viviscale, is Holland and Barrett here in the UK. And with voucher codes and things, right now, if you're watching this, you can buy Viviscale so much cheaper and it's brilliant i mean viviscale is expensive anyway but of course look at what you get with viviscale straight off on the front here the most clinically researched brand and it's scientifically formulated with amino C marine protein complex so there's a lot of research gone into this as well i believe it's over 25 years worth of research gone into this product and as you can see from the front the most clinically researched brand and i can just dropped it there um, I can completely absolutely vouch that I have noticed such a difference in three months in my scalp my temples feel thicker they don't of course in the length because of course hair takes a long time to grow but if I get my fingers there and I can really really feel my temples it feels like hair is there rather than just being really soft downy hair it feels brilliant it feels great to have fuller hair something here which was really really bothering me a part of my hair which wasn't thinning hugely but there was some change whether or not that was from medication which i'm taking whether or not it was through stress i'm naturally a stressful person but there were certainly some change and when you're having a shower you're having a bath or if you're styling your hair and you look down at your hands and you think okay is it normal to have about 30 40 hairs on my hand and then there's about goodness knows how many in the bottom of the bath probably not of course for a couple of weeks i just thought to myself this is normal bit of a change could be a seasonal change could be a bit of a stress it will go away but it wasn't going away that's why i started using viviscal because i knew i had success with it when i took it for seven months before you may think why did you stop because of course when your hair gets to a certain point and of course other things come up in life with money finances that type of thing i thought to myself my hair's in a good place i'll stop it now i'll put the money elsewhere um and of course, at my age, first house looking at, um, of course, so many different things, holidays, wanting to do so much. Um, of course, the money goes elsewhere. So that was the reason why I stopped it. But I'm back with Viviscal now. I'm having so many more positive effects with it. And it's really, really great to report that these things are happening. I wouldn't say that, please don't take away from this thinking that I've got a humongous doubly amount of hair, because I haven't. But there are small positive changes, which I know are getting me on the track for thicker, fuller hair. And that is positive change. Now, something which I want to relate to as well on here, and you will find this from my other clips, but I don't actually need to do it now because I'm just going to go through it with you here. This here, if you can see it, in fact, I will actually up Upload. What you'll see is you will see at the bottom is you'll see the stages of what Viviscal pronounced to be uh, the change in using the product and the change which you can look for in your hair journey as well as what I'm currently doing. So it's stage one. So Viviscal supports healthy hair growth in four stages over a three to six month period. So stage one, hair follicles are being supported through a consistent intake of protein and nutrients in each tablet. Stronger nails are often the first sign of Viviscal working. And this is around about the one month, I would say. Stage two, we're at the three months months here at the bottom if you can see this you'll see it because i will attach it at the bottom of the, uh, the clip here three months mark we've gone into stage two so thin and wispy hair is strengthened look out for baby hairs appearing and you know what that's what i'm seeing so then stage three which is you're getting to about just before the six month mark is stage three breakage and thinning continue to decline encouraging normal healthy hair growth stage four where you're getting to the end of the six month mark hair is looking noticeably strong and healthier and of course that's what i'm looking for as well so at my six month mark i'm hoping that my hair will in those places when i sort of shine it under a light i'm hoping it will look thicker but i'm noticing that healthy change so i know i'm on the right track which is really really great and please hand on heart this is absolutely honesty nobody is paying me to do this clip at all nobody is is from any company at all in contact with me this is just my personal journey because i didn't like the way i was seeing the hair come out in the shower in the bath in the sink however however you want to talk about it when i was styling my hair it was bothering me um, and i really really didn't want that i really my hair is it's not the it's not the hugest thing of my life of course it's not but 
I want to hold on to my hair as long as possible and I like styling my hair and I like my hair to look good. And don't we all want to feel good about ourselves? And my hair is a real big hobby for me, so that's what I really, really like. <laughs> Phone's ringing as you can probably hear. It's really, really super loud. You can probably hear it because I have a hearing problem. So we have a super loud phone in our hallway. So my apologies for that. I'm just going to keep going. Somebody hopefully will pick it up in just a moment. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. Um, and let's just touch on the back here. So factors of which will help you, uh, which will affect healthy hair growth. It could be hereditary. You could be battling against hereditary hair loss. But of course, just because you are doesn't mean that it's you lost the all hope of good, healthy hair. Thin, fine hair can still be styled amazingly. So don't give up hope. And if you are in that category, Viviscal would be the way I would probably suggest in going. Stress, huge thing in my life. Stress, naturally stressful person. Stress about everything. Viviscal's telling us here it can affect healthy hair growth. Medication. Mm, I'm on quite a lot of tablets at the moment for the different problems going on. So that could be an issue as well. Poor nutrition. When I'm stressed, I don't necessarily eat very well at all. My parents, my mum, is always saying to me, you need to eat, you need to eat. Um, my oldest brother, you need to eat. Yeah, it can affect healthy hair growth. Overstyling could be a possibility. Bleaching for some people, of course. Heat treatments and, of course, over dyeing for some people as well. Viviscal men's supplements are scientifically formulated with the important nutrients zinc, vitamin C and flaxseed, which help to maintain normal healthy hair growth from within and marine protein complex amino mar C. Viviscal has been developed with significant investment in research and development and is supported by 10 published clinical trials, which, of course, gives the consumer, gives me, gives all of us who's going to try Viviscal a lot of confidence. And it's two tablets daily. And that's take two tablets daily for a minimum of three to six months, one in the morning, one in the evening, with water after food. Therefore, take one to two tablets daily as required. And you know what? I take mine first thing when I get up in the morning. Um, I'm always up dead early, so I take mine first thing in the morning with water. Then I may have breakfast, not all the time, I have to admit. Um, if I'm being honest, probably rarely, to be honest with you, because I'm really busy with work at the moment. And then I take mine with my evening meal or before I go to bed. I mean, that works really, really well for me as well. Um, and absolutely love it. So, yes, can't shout and rave about it enough. Really, really, if you're thinking about it, go for it. I absolutely urge you. I just want to spend some time as well going through... In fact, actually, I, I told you about the medications. They come in blister packs like this. This is my new three month course, which I bought from Holland and Barrett here in the UK, which is like a health store. Um, and the tablets come like this. If you're wondering what they look like, come like this in blister packs. And you can see. So I've took my one for this morning. I've got my one to take for this evening. Um, and yeah. Do they make me feel nauseous? Do they make me feel sick? Why am I saying that? Some vitamins make you feel nauseous and make you feel sick. I've been there. Um, certain vitamins, which I'm not going to uh, name, have made me feel really nauseous and really quite sick and made me feel quite full all the time. So I haven't been able to take them. Viviscal does not. I do not have a problem. It doesn't upset my stomach, doesn't affect my system, um, doesn't make me feel nauseous, doesn't make me feel full. So amazing. I just want to now spend some time in the men's range, of course, in the women's range, there is a shampoo and conditioner which, and an elixir, which the uh, Viviscal recommend to use as part of your journey of getting thicker, fuller, healthier hair. In the men's range, there is a shampoo. Now, in the last couple of days, I haven't used this for the full three months. I've used this for a couple of days. Um, and I'm going to continue to use this now because it is an amazing product. Um, so Viviscal Men, a full force fortifying shampoo, cleanses whilst leaving hair thicker, uh, looking thicker and fuller. So it's Anatel, and that's complex, blended with biotin, keratin and zinc to promote healthy looking hair. And it's a 250 ml, and this is £10. To be honest with you, I've shopped around for this, and it seemed to be £10 everywhere. Um, OK, so at Viviscal, we understand the science of healthy hair growth from inside and outside. Only Viviscal Hair Care Range contains the photonutrient-rich Anatel, uh, Anatel, which is, of course, the complex blend which we're talking about on the front here. Um, and that then goes on to say to get the best results, nourish your hair from within with Viviscal Men, which we're doing. And directions here, apply shampoo to wet hair, massage into hair and scalp, lather, rinse and repeat if necessary. Suitable for everyday use. Amazing. I absolutely love this product. I love, love the smell of it. It smells like a men's cologne. Um, so, of course, if you are a woman and you are watching this, use the 
the women's uh, Aim shampoo and conditioner because the men's really does smell like a really nice, strong smelling cologne smell, like a really expensive uh, cologne. And it's really, really lovely, really invigorating, really, really great for sort of just making you feel really quite good when you're getting ready or if you're in the shower or in the bath at all. Um, let's go into a little bit more detail here. Um, and something I just wanted to cover was the ease of using it to be quite honest with you as well and there was one i don't want to end on a negative but the ease of using it so there is no conditioner but there are conditioning properties in here as well and you know what there's some um, there's some natural sort of oils in here as well which is so i can see there's eucalyptus uh, leaf oil in here as well there's other fruit oils in here as well um uh, there is bergamot in here as well, which has an incredible smell too. And there is hygienized uh, proteins in here as well, which of course we've talked about before, which cling to the hair. So they, if you imagine the hair cuticle, it clings to the hair, sort of coats the hair, makes it feel fuller and thicker. Now, does it make the hair fuller and thicker afterwards? Do you know what? Categorically, yes, it certainly does it lifts the hair away from the scalp makes the hair feel thicker makes the hair feel fuller it's healthy on the scalp as well it doesn't make it feel out of balance or uncomfortable it is simply lovely it's a really really lovely product to use my only downfall is the packaging's not recyclable which is a real shame and i hope that viviscal change this in the future because of course more so now as well i always really like to be responsible with the products of course i use a lot of products so it's lots of plastics and things so i do take note that if it's not recyclable as well one of my things which i absolutely love is i love it when a product says that it's not been tested on animals um and you know what i'm sure that viviscal don't but why not put it on your products? Do you know what I mean? Why not put that on your products? Um, yeah, so it's a bit of a shame that's not on here. But I love that when a product says that it's not tested on animals. And the other thing as well, I really, really like it when a product is recyclable. I think we all should be re we all should be responsible. I want my children's children's children to still have an, a beautiful world to live in. Haven't got children yet, but I want that to come in the future. So. Do you know what I mean? I want products to be recyclable, so why not do that? So that's a bit of a shame, but I don't want to end on a negative. Viviscal is certainly an amazing, an amazing product, and I would certainly recommend you using it. Okay, thank you very, very much for watching my clip today. It has meant the world if you are still watching, and as ever, until next time, I wish you thick, healthy hair. <laughs> and until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.